All right, and reaching the first flowers of spring. My first wheel or 275 subscribers and over 30,000 views. Thanks to all my viewers, I give you 30 seconds of slow motion bones. Thank you. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yes. And, um, that was a great intro. We're going to take a look at the fire station completion. Yes, we are. And there's a horsey. Wow, all the animals are out. There she is. Or he is. Whatever you prefer. There's a fire station. And it's 99% done. Take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look. Yes. I captured what I wanted to capture. And I pretty much got it. I still got landscaping to do. But that's going to come into play with the police outpost and forestry service outpost. But that's going to wait until after the restaurant. Because I really am uh, motivated to do the restaurant. So let's go take a look inside. And I lost the sound of my doors. Huh. Okay. Got some beam action, some lights, some front counter area. Come in, the fire personnel can do their, their office type work. Yes, they can. And a little waiting area. This is going to be a patio. And one of the ideas after I get the landscaping all taken care of here is to use the my decks and make like a trellis. I, I don't really know what they call that, where it has flowers and vines and stuff on top. You usually see them at fancy on fancy patios and restaurants and what not. Then we come out here to the garage area. Got some toolboxes. Uh who was that? In the comments. <laughs> I have paper notes. Yeah. Ronnie Bushway had also um reiterated about the Technic lead suit and not providing as much uh, radiation protection. So I've gone, I've always gone with the, um, the hazmat suit and there's a fire suit and they, they kind of mimic uh, fire department wear. So that turned out great. And I got three on each side because there's um, six. And we have an ambulance and a fire truck from the vehicles mod and working garage doors. Yeah. Not happy how, how that turned out. I'm going to be playing with that. Um, it works. And I have a switch. And then behind here, un buried underneath here, is the gate controller. And I have one on each side. So that solved that problem. And then back here we have nothing, but <laughs> I'm going to put something over here, dress that up a little bit. Some try to get some fire type equipment back here. I'm probably going to change these doors out because this is now a unisex uh, locker room. So we have because we have toilets, we have showers, we have sinks and towels. 
Uh, one of the problems that I always run into and do is we don't need this many lights. There we go. Is the proportions are not are never to my satisfaction. So I, I've run out of room. <laughs> is basically what happened. So that's the downstairs. So let's go up to the living quarters. And we have sleeping quarters. There will be four people sleeping overnight. And we have um, wardrobes and hanging area for their personal clothes. Over here, we have the living area with a nice TV and stereo. Very nice. And dining room area and kitchen. And I'm going to deck out the kitchen, put some flowers up. Um, needs a waffle maker. Yeah. Then we have the upstairs, which this mimics the downstairs one for uh, the locker rooms. But just in case, there's male or uh, male. There's fire women and fire men. It's all separated. It's all good in the hood. So this is pretty much done. There's going to be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tweak out a few little additions. I I always do that. I always go back over my builds and see what I could add. I don't see putting any kind of table in. This is done. I don't want to overthink it. So we have a fire pole. Very nice. And it works. Well, you have to use your imagination. Sort of. There you go. And I take no damage. And I think these have gone away from the... Uh, I, I don't think firehouses have fire poles anymore. It's been a long time since I've been in a fire station. And the one that I used to be around, that one did not have a fire pole. So, yeah. So back here, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. So right now, I really like compressed gravel. Just because. Why did I do that? It's not what I wanted. I want... Oh, does it? That's not going to let me do that. Because of... Hmm. Because it's on top of there. No matter. We'll just look it up. What is that? Compressed earth. What does that look like? That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this back area. I do know that I want it something unique. We're not going to go all the way to the end here. And, of course... The, um, I get to use the My Deck mod. Hmm. Don't know if it's going to stay, though. So let's see what we can do here real quickly. And like I said, the, the next, um, see, this is a good use of old computer hardware. You could use it to excavate your area so, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I love about about creative mode <laughs> you can just do things that it's just not right yeah so how's everybody doing um, in Chicago it is absolutely beautiful out these last couple days and since I don't know what I'm going to do 
back here. We're just going to extend this. It's a little pathway. Bring it to the edge there. So it's been in the 70s. At night, it's been in the 50s. But still, I will take it. It is, um, it is something else. So let's make some room here. I want to, I want to, I want to see something with that compressed dirt. Have some ideas. So what we need is my deck. I need to put it down. Thank you. I need to put it down. So, uh, what do I need here? Um, wood. Wood is a very good starting point. So, because it, it doesn't matter what type of wood it is. Wooden planks. That, that will do what I want. So now let's take, we need some beams. We need, we're just going to get, we're going to do that. I'm going to grab, I'm just going to grab a couple of things. We, yes, we need this. What else do I need? I need, um, I need stone. For the, for the base. I have so much stuff in here. There it is. There's a horse. Let's get this. Let's get this on the road here. I have a. I have a tendency to make extra long videos. Okay. So now. See, I don't know how I don't know how far out I want to take this, so I'm just going to put it here. Because why not? And it just like everything else in this game, it is up for interpretation. So if I come here, that's gonna add one more. I'm not really sure if that is How I want to do it because oh okay that will work oops yeah this whole area back here is going to be um, crafted to make it look more believable I don't want, get off my deck, Horky. I don't want, did I want to do that? Yeah, I did. I wanted to do that. I meant to do that. I don't like how, I don't, I really don't like how that, plays out. Now, to make that look believable, we need to, I need to move that. Oh, I need that. We're going to take out that and do that. That's a lot of that. We need this. I bet you that's the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. So what this does, yeah, I needed the other one. What that does is I'm running out of room again. Wow. I needed this one. Once you get the hang of it, I haven't played with my decks in a while. I haven't had the need to use it. This simulates the, now you see I got 
got to take out that light. This <laughs> first world problems. This simulates the part that butts up to the house or the, to the actual. Wow, that's actually going to work. Except I don't think I should have used that because that's fine. I don't mind if it is now I should have I should have used hmm. I don't know if that would work by doing the um, world edit stack. But I've always liked the look of this. It's kind of like an Italian, you know, you usually see them on, um, you see them on villas, you see them on Italian restaurants all the time. There's this, there's this really great, Italian um, or Greek Euro place that I like to go to. And it has, it has one of these on an, on an outside garden and there's grapevines growing on it, which is, it's really cool. And I like to duplicate that. So let's see what we got here. That's more or less the look I was going for. Cool. So I had the opportunity to see, and then I got something I can put on back here. I had the opportunity to see, um, there was a house on one of my workouts that it, it, it should have never been. So it was an older section of town that I was, I was walking through. <laughs> I, I was going to put gray wool there. There was an older section of town that I was walking through. And it had, um, they were all older style houses. You know, usually about 20, 30 years old in this area. And then right in the middle of it was a brand new modern style house. And the house was absolutely gorgeous. And it, it was in my favorite color palette. Uh, grays and blues and it had two stories it had uh, square roofs and had fancy um, special windows which I've been trying to replicate because if you look at all my modern houses they all use the same type of windows which isn't a bad thing but they're they're all um, they don't have the squares in them it's all solid sheets of glass and this had some pretty big windows. And although the house was, was uh, it was gorgeous. That's the, that's the style of house I wanted. It even had the, um, it's a kind of rail, which I want to duplicate. And it has these like uh, stainless steel rods that go through it, that create like a fence. And it, it, I love that kind of railing, and I've seen that in other houses, other um, modern type houses. The problem was, is because of the air, ooh, because of the area that it was in, it looked so out of place that it it it, it just didn't kind of didn't look good in that in that situation. So. Yeah, it kind of does matter where you put these houses. Okay, so, hi, Mr. Warthog. I have no apples today. Sorry. So I'm going to be playing with this area here. I want to do the, I want to do the restaurant next. And in other news, it is good to see that um, one of our community members, which I will flash up a picture real quickly. George finally got his server running or his, his, um, mind test world running, 
which is great. And he posted a picture on the website. And you can too, shameless plug. Um, on my website, uh, rgsproductions2005.com, there is a, on the main page, there is a, um, a form that you can submit a photo and you don't have to use an email address. You can be completely anonymous and post a picture of your, of your build, whatever you're proud of. And several people have done it and it is greatly appreciated. So, and like I said, it's anonymous. If you, but if, if you post a picture, that means it's okay for me to show it, which I'm going to, which I already flashed up a picture of it. And you'll be immortalized on YouTube videos forever. So, <laughs> see, I don't want to put it. I was toying with the idea of putting a fence rail here so I could sink that. That could go down. But for right now, I'm going to leave it. So in the my deck, you notice that there were other. Um, let's see how this looks. That looks pretty good. It could go, it could go out one more. But the idea is, and I think I'm going to have to do some custom, um, some customized, let's see, redwood, bush leaves. Let's try this. And eh, that's not going to look right. So the idea is, is that there, there are vines and stuff growing. So we are going to do that and see how that, that looks. So it gives the impression that when you're underneath it, you have vegetation on top. So I'm going to leave that there for right now. And that leaves a gap. I can't I put... I'm just going to fill... I like the other other leaves better. So I'm going to play with that. So that's basically, and landscaping on here is the hardest. I, I do believe that. So what I want, what I want to do is I don't want to carve out this area as like, um, like a, like a, a rock face. I want to blend it. Ooh, big. Let's see if I can hit that cat. Oh, I thought I hit it. Another one. Sidetrack. Those, those, um, oh, there's a sheep. I hit it. Oh, sorry about that, sheepy. Hmm. So I want to carve this area out and I don't want to do the same thing I did over by the, the other modern house area. And that's just make like ravine or like it's carved into a mountain. I want to make it more natural. This obviously is going to have to get moved. This is going to be something. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of this. I don't know if it's going to let me. I did that again. Hmm. I'm so used to hitting enter. There. Oh, it did it. Usually what will happen is it will leave the die. Okay, so we have that. And this is going to cause an issue. So we need to move this whole thing by 10. Hmm. Yep. And how I'm going to do that is by positioning myself here up move 
region by 10. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. And unfortunately, I have rollback turned off at the moment. Well, it's not bad. Oh, this was the, these were the, um, what do you call it? Those were, those were the ones going forward. I'm going to redo that anyway, because I do not want to get rid, as goofy as this thing looks, <laughs> I want to keep it. Why didn't that go in? I can't remember why. Because there, there, there's something about this. This is actually in, in a concert. You will, you will see flying arrays. So I think it turned out pretty good. Not to the point where I want to get rid of it. And I want to, I want to make a pavilion um, with lawn seating, and that's where this is going to come into play. And uh, we used to up in up in the Chicago area. We used to have a place called Popular Creek Music Theater, and it was an outdoor music theater. And I've, I've been there and saw uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Till Tuesday, um, loads of bands from my Ute. Yes, Ute. <laughs> it was a shame to see it go down, to go away. It was all political because of the Tinley Music Theater in Tinley Park, Illinois. So, yeah, I'm going to cut. So what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to try something, but I'm going to do it after I do a server when I save my world. I'm going to actually try to sink this whole area by three or four blocks. So over here is going to be a little outpost for the fire service and forest or uh, uh, police service and forestry service. And that will complete this because this whole area is going to be a park. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the the trick that I did on the facade. Um, if you remember, I used the facade blocks with the uh, gates to create like a gate around the park, or if I'm going to do something with the with the stone. But I I like the um, the detail and the pattern in the facade blocks to do that, and then create like right right around here and down here create stairways that will lead into the park. So the train station, the restaurant, fire station, that will all be done. And no flying through trees this time. That's an old, Michael caught that. That's an old thing, um, an old gimmick. Not not actually a gimmick, and I don't do it purposely. It's all accidental, flying through the trees. And what would a video of mine be without flying through, <laughs> flying through a tree? And that came off of an old thing that I used to do. Um, now you see, I purposely tried to fly through the tree, and it 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 didn't. So there, there I did it. I did it. But what <laughs> what I used to do. Is every time I every time I demoed a house build, I would turn on the faucet, and then say something like, "Well, you knew that was going to happen," but I I don't have the code yet copied over from uh, Dream Builder on uh, Vanessa E's faucets, so I just turn on the shower, and for whatever reason, I'm not hearing the the shower. It, uh, Oh, my monitors! My monitor is probably low, which is why I'm not hearing that. So there you have it. That is a look at. I'm not really 100% pleased on how the locker room turned out, but I am going to put some privacy shower thing on there, shower doors on there. I do the proportions of this room 
are wrong, but I think it worked out. And there's a nice sunset. So I am very happy with that as the sun sets on another mind test gameplay video of sorts. <laughs> I can't do this. Wait down. I need a screenshot. I get halfway through my videos and then find out that I forgot to take a screenshot for the, for the, um, for the thumbnail for the video. There, I took one. So that's gonna do it. Um, leave comments below and uh, we will go from there. So I wanna thank you for joining me. Wait, I can't see where I'm going. There, there I'm going. I wanna thank you for joining me and for uh, making it that I hit a couple uh, major milestones, 270, two, actually 276 subscribers and 30,000 views. And uh, I think my ranking on Social Blade is I'm 10 million or 20, 20 million YouTube channels away from like PewDiePie. So, oh, I did something somewhere. Where did I do that? It kind of turned out. I always wanted a TV that would hang from the ceiling. There it is. So it's like a, um, almost like a camera system. So somebody rings a doorbell and you can look over at the monitor. It's a little small, but it works. And this would make a great under the counter TV. And it's my monitor. It's my, um, uh, I took the computers, um, mod. And I took the, the object out of the computers and I just removed the keyboard and mouse. Unfortunately, the picture's upside down. But <laughs> it kind of gives the impression of a, it's this, it's this one right here. And it's the computer decorating, decor, decor, decorative computer mod, which I've highlighted in the past. And I just removed the keyboard and that and created it, called it monitor one. And it's usually what I do for my... That's not how you spell monitor. That's going to be the new thing that I can't spell. There. That's usually how I do my dual, you know, give the impression that there's dual monitors on a setup. So it kind of worked out. I just hung it off the ceiling and uh, rotated it with the screwdriver. So there, there you have it. There's the, there's the fire station. Very happy with how the overall look of it. I have a little bit more tweaking to do as usual. Again, thank you for uh, helping me hit 276 subscribers and over 30,000 views in under a year. It is greatly appreciated. Until the next video, goodbye.